Hi there, I'm Will Connect, and I'm the president of Wendell August Forge, located in Grove City, Pennsylvania. We're a family-run company that has been in business since 1923. We make, uh, by hand, uh, metal giftware for life's special moments. And we've been doing so in Grove City uh, since 1932 in a, in a building that was on the National Registry of Historic Places that housed not only our workshop, uh, but our flagship retail store and our administrative and executive offices. Uh, on March 6th of 2010, uh, what could have been the most tragic event in the history of our company struck. We had a massive fire lit that literally burned the entire facility to the ground. That day, as the fire were rag was raging, uh, we as a group of employees, and there were probably about 40 of us at the time, uh, we gathered together, literally just a couple hours after the fire had started. And amidst the, the concern and the tears and, and, and the questions whether or not we'd be able to go on, uh, we gathered together and we prayed. And we just asked the Lord for guidance and direction. And from that moment on, it was, a, it was as if a supernatural touch, the hand of God, was on, ev on us every step of the way. The first thing that had happened just two days prior to the fire, we had gotten the largest order in the history of our company from the Pittsburgh Penguins of the NHL, National Hockey League. We were so excited about that order, uh, but then almost panicked uh, when the fire hit, not knowing how we would fulfill that order. Uh, but that order was so much, uh, in so integral into our recovery plans because it immediately focused all of our attention. We had to get that order done. We didn't have time to wring our hands, to feel sorry for ourselves. We had to put together a concerted plan of attack to get us back operational and get that order out on time for their last game in their historic arena. And that plan of attack consisted of many things. Within five days after the fire, we were able to get a workshop, a temporary workshop, up and going for our craftsmen to begin creating the order. Thankfully, our, our, our landlord let us walk in on a handshake unbelievable we found this space that would be perfect for the workshop and also unbelievably right above it was the perfect space for our administrative and executive offices within two weeks from the fire we had our offices back up and going and within four weeks we had our flagship re retail store reopened at another temporary location uh, the good folks of this community and the good business leaders of this community came around us and supported us whether it was our bank with us every step of the way, never doubting uh, and never, never wavering in their support. Our insurance company that came with us uh, and helped us through each part of the claim. Uh, we had hired a PR firm just weeks before uh, the fire for the first time in our history. And within hours of the fire coming out, we were able to get word out that we had faced this massive fire. The most international attention our little company had ever faced. Uh, we had brought in a company chaplain uh, just a, a month before the fire who was able to work with our team. And the great people of this community came around us with food and support. Needless to say, what could have been tragedy was turned into something great. We've been able to rebrand our company. We've been able to introduce new products. And we're excited what the future holds. Again, what could have been tragedy turned into something great, and it was because of the hand of God, the great group of people, and the American spirit displayed in the people of this area that got us back on track, and we are extremely, extremely thankful.